Hi Bag Builders, it's Diane from Spencer Rock Sewing Patterns. Thank you for joining me. Today I want to share with you the secrets of box corners. We all know the importance of perfectly aligned box corners and how we can transform a flat bag like this into a beautiful structured 3D bag like we see here. I mean we can use them in any sizes, you can use the tiniest box corner for things like a pencil case or a makeup bag. Um, here on my turnaround bag there's just something like a five centimeter box corner on there which gives a little space to just hold your tablet or computer in there. Moving on to a Harry's tote where you've got space to hold much more, a little bit of shopping and then onto the forever shop here which gives a huge amount of space in the bottom. So I'm going to share with you the secrets of how to align them perfectly and also how to decide um, what size you want and how to calculate that measurement. I know when I started uh, first making bags um, my box corners were all over the place because I didn't quite understand um, what the relationship was between the side seam and the, and the bottom corner um, but luckily I've got over that so I'm going to share the, share the secret with you now So here's how to make the perfect box corners. Here's our flat bag where we've stitched our three regular side seams. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clip the corners really closely, those bottom corners. So I'm not just going to take one snip, I'm going to take three snips so I'm really getting in there because I want to be able to see the stitching at that point once I turn it through. And do the same on that side. Now you don't need to worry if you do put the, the stitching a little bit, it's not a problem at all um, because you're going to be boxing that corner off anyway and you'll probably chop it off inside. Um, the next thing we do is going to take that to the ironing board and I'm going to press each of those seams open. It makes things so much easier. So there we go. You can see now that you can see the actual point of those corners right there at the bottom. So. Lift your bag up and match your side seams. So bring those side seams together and just put a little clip in the top to hold it in place. Now what we're aiming to do is match the side seams together on both sides. You can see we just drop that into place and the side seams along with the bottom seam. So at any point when you push a pin through you should come out at exactly through the seam on the other side. Now you may have to wiggle it around a bit, um, we would expect to do that just to get it into place, but if you've got that corner nice and sharp there and when you flatten it down that corner is falling in line with your side seam, in theory you should be spot on. But keep pushing that pin through just to make sure, check through your side seam to the bottom, yes perfect, um, open it out and make sure it's flat. Now line up your side seam on your cutting mat along the top and the bottom so you can see it's all in line with each other and these two points should line up with the horizontal lines on the cutting mat too. Now that because of the way we folded it, it always ends up as a square shape so it doesn't matter if it's a large bag, a small bag, a tall one, a short one, a flat one, flat one. Um, it's always a square. And that helps us um, to calculate our box corner size because this is where we bring in a little rule of um, geometry. Uh, don't let it frighten you, it's not very hard. Um, because it's a square, we can calculate from that that if we want a box corner of, for example, 10 centimetres or 4 inches, it, the distance we want it up from that corner and exactly from the stitch point is half of the distance across. So line up on your mat so it's, it's exactly in line with the horizontal and the vertical lines. And because I want a box corner of 10 centimetres, 4 inches in this case, I'm going to measure up 5 centimetres or 2 inches. I'm going to put a little mark there. And, where I, and then I'm going to lay my ruler across horizontally and that will measure 10 centimetres. So I'm then going to mark that across, making sure you're always aligning that ruler with the lines on the mat. I'll just put a pin in there for now and then we're going to flick it over 
and do exactly the same on the other side. So line it up, make sure your lines are matching, make sure your horizontal lines are matching. Measure five centimetres up. So if you want a box corner of eight inches, measure four inches up, it's going to be a huge one, but um, you might be making a huge bag. So for 10 centimetres, we're going to measure five centimetres up on that box, on that um, corner, and then we're going to measure 10 centimetres across. And line up your ruler with your cutting mat and draw that in. So we're ready to stitch across those lines and that will form our box corners. So I'll just take this to the sewing machine. So as if by magic, here's one I prepared earlier and we've stitched across those lines and it's as simple as that. Um, now when we open it up and turn it through, you'll have two beautifully aligned box corners. Perfect. It really is that simple. So just a couple of things to remember when you're calculating box corners are um, a generous bottom means a bosomy top half. So the wider you make that box bottom, the wider you, the top of your bag will be in comparison. Um, so just to illustrate that, take an even wider box bottom it looks a lot wider at the top. So it's a nice style feature and you can compensate for it if you like to. And the other point is it will reduce the height of your bag. So if you've done a 10 centimeter box bottom, it's gonna reduce the height of that bag by five centimeters. So you can see there from the original piece. So I hope you found my box bottom construction tutorial useful and that you'll join me again in the future. So what are you waiting for? Go so!